been using a GoPro for several years now and have tried to continuously improve the quality of my videos over the years. Today I would like to talk about 5 common mistakes I think GoPro users make at the beginning. Mistakes I made myself of course. At the same time I will also give you 5 tips on how a beginner can improve the quality of his GoPro videos. So have fun with this video! The GoPro can create a fantastic image and I'm sure you will be excited when you make your first beautiful shots. Many people expect this image quality in all situations. They underestimate that the GoPro has a very small sensor and this small sensor is very dependent on good lighting conditions. Again and again I am asked for the perfect settings for low light situations and there will certainly be a video on this topic. The fact is however that the GoPro can only show its full potential in good lighting conditions. If the lighting conditions are not right, the image will only have an average quality. And by that I mean for example artificial light inside a house. You only get really beautiful images outdoors. However, too much light can also lead to problems. If you film at noon in summer, your shutter speed will be extremely high, there will be no motion blur and the unattractive shadows will appear. Optimal would be for example the time before sunset or shortly after sunrise, thus the so-called golden hour. Also pay attention to situations with a high dynamic range, which means with very dark and very bright areas in the same image. The GoPro can't handle such situations well and bright areas in the image will burn out. A good shot doesn't automatically make a good video. Do not underestimate the importance of video editing. If you frequently watch GoPro videos on YouTube, you will be a little frustrated at the beginning when you compare these sometimes professional videos with your own results. So don't underestimate the importance of video editing. It takes a lot of time to master an editing program well, but this is indispensable if you want to improve the quality of your videos in the long run. So better start right away. Choose a good editing program and watch tutorials on YouTube. You will see that this will help you to improve a lot. You will also learn to shoot for the edit. By that I mean to think about which shots you will need for a good and interesting cut. This is a completely different way of filming. You will learn to make many rather short and different shots with different angles instead of just a few but very long shots. You will also have to learn about color grading and sound effects. Of course all this is not only true for GoPro videos but for any kind of video production in general. Never forget there is not the one perfect setting that is optimal for all situations. In the beginning I always shot everything in 1080 there are a few reasons for me to constantly change the settings, but especially with the current versions of the GoPro, you can only obtain certain optimal results with different settings. Of course, there is still one standard setting that I usually use. On the Hero 7 Black this is 4K60 wide for me with the usual Proteum settings. For super slow motion or cinematic b-roll I also use 1080-120 or even 1080-240. For POV shots I often use 2.7K together with SuperView. Some prefer linear to reduce distortion. In low light, a low frame rate or even manual exposure settings are recommended. In any case, you should experiment with different settings and find out what works best for you in which situation. A very special strength of the GoPro is the ecosystem of mounts. This distinguishes this camera from most other cameras on the market. There is a mount for every imaginable purpose. You can even be creative and combine some of these mounts. And the best thing about it is that you can also buy many of these mounts relatively cheap in the form of a kit. In this way you can take very entertaining shots, which would be very difficult with another camera. Nevertheless many use only one or two different mounts, usually a helmet mount and maybe a handlebar mount. You will see it is fun to try different mounts. For example a pole to film yourself, a chest mount for better POV shots, a mini tripod for cool time lapses, a suction cup mount to attach the GoPro to your car, a head strap to climb and so on. I will put some links in the video description if you want to test some new mounts. You should not forget that you are using a camera with a rather unusual lens. The GoPro has a fisher lens with an extreme wide angle. This works great for certain situations such as POV shots or landscape shots. With certain limitations it is also suitable as a travel lens because you can capture the scenery well. You should never forget however that this lens has special properties and is therefore not ideal for all situations. Rather it has particular strengths and weaknesses. While a landscape shot will be great and fantastic time lapses can be created, 
The lens is only recommended to a limited extent for close-ups of people, for example. You can make cool POV shots with it, but it is not possible to create a blurred background. While you can convey distance and spatial dimensions very well, you must be able to handle a possibly curved horizon. Personally, I consider these special properties to be a great strength of the GoPro. The only decisive factor is that you are aware of them and try to deal with the weaknesses of the Fisher lens. So let's recap these 5 mistakes in a positive way by giving 5 tips. Pay attention to good lighting and avoid if possible bad lighting conditions and situations with very dark and very bright areas in the image. Choose a good editing program and take the time to learn it well. This will significantly improve the quality of your videos. Test and use different settings for different situations. For example, use the possibilities of high frame rates for a cinematic B-roll. Test and use several different mounts. Don't forget that this is the great strength of the GoPro system. Take advantage of the wide-angle lens and learn to deal with its weaknesses. And with this I would like to say goodbye for today. If you like this short video, give me a like as feedback, subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and see you next time.